friends welcome to the next episode of app guide in this episode we will be solving some other types of problems on ages so let us go straight away to the next question 16th question is sum of the present ages of rani and her mother is 35 years when rani's age will become equal to the present age of her mother the sum of their ages will be 85 years find present age of mother so in this question they have given the sum of the present ages of rani and mother as 35 years then they are telling that when rani's age will become equal to the present age of her mother sum of their ages is 85 85 years okay so we need to find out the present age of mother so there is a shortcut method to find out this answer just by two steps you will get the answer but before going to the shortcut method let me explain you the conventional method to solve the problem so the sum of the ages or the sum of the present ages of rani and mother is given as 35 years so let us assume that some x years later rani's age is becoming equal to that of the present age of her mother okay so x years later rani's age will be r plus x then what will be mother's age after x years that will be m plus x okay so this r plus x is the age of rani when her age is equal to that of the present age of mother that is this r plus x is equal to the present age of mother that is m okay now the summation of their ages after x years is given as 85 okay so let us assume this as the first equation now this equation can be written as r plus m plus 2x is equal to 85 we know that r plus m is 35 so this value can be substituted in this equation okay so 35 plus 2x is equal to 85 so by solving this we will get the value of x as 25 so in the conventional method first we need to find out after how many years rani's age is becoming equal to that of her mother's age okay then we need to find out mother's age okay now we know that r plus x is equal to m so this we can substitute in this first equation so m plus m plus x is equal to 85 so this we can write it as 2m plus x is equal to 85 we know that x value is equal to 25 so 2m plus 25 is equal to 85 so by solving this we will get the value of m as 30 years so this is the conventional method to find out the present age of mother okay now let us see what is the shortcut method to find out the answer okay so this is the sum of their present ages and this is the sum of their ages when rani's age is equals to that of the mother's age okay so first what you need to do is you need to take the sum of these two sums okay so that will be equal to 120 then mother's present age will be equal to this 120 divided by 4 that is equal to 30 years so whenever you are getting a problem like this first what you need to do is you need to take the sum of these sums okay then that sum should be divided by 4 and that particular answer will be equal to the mother's present age okay this is similar question to that of the previous one so let us see what is the question sum of the present ages of arun and his father is 40 years when arun's age will become equal to the present age of his father then sum of their ages will be 88 years find present age of arun so in this question they have given the sum of the present ages of arun and his father as 40 years okay then they have given the sum of their ages when arun's age becomes equal to the present age of his father and that is equal to 88 years okay so here we need to find out the present age of arun okay so first let us find out present age of the father so for that first take the sum of this sum that will be equal to 128 now father's present age will be equal to divide this 128 by 4 so that will be equal to 
so father's present age is 32 we need to find out present age of arun so i am substituting in the first equation a plus 32 is equal to 40 so arun's age will be equal to 40 minus 32 that will be equal to 8 years hence this is the answer the next question is ratio of father's age to son's age at present is 4 is to 1 and the product of their ages is 196 what is the ratio of their ages after 5 years so in this question they have given the ratio of father's age to son's age at present as 4 is to 1 okay so ratio of father's and son's age at present is given as 4 is to 1 okay and the product of their ages is given as 196 okay so if the ratio is 4 is to 1 then what will be father's age let us assume father's age is 4x and son's age is 1 into x okay then the product of their ages is given as 196 so that is 4x into this x is given as 196 okay so from this x square will be equal to 196 by 4 that is equal to 49 and x value will be equal to 7 okay so now x value is 7 then what will be father's present age father's present age will be 4 into 7 that will be equal to 28 and what will be son's present age that will be 1 into x that is 1 into 7 that is 7 but in the question they are asking us to find out the ratio of their ages after 5 years if at present their ages are 28 and 7 then after 5 years what will be father's age that will be 28 plus 5 that is 33 and what will be son's age that will be 7 plus 5 that is 12 okay so what will be the ratio that will be equal to 11 is to 4 so the ratio of their ages after 5 years will be 11 is to 4 the next question is ratio of Kiran's age to his mother's age at present is 3 is to 11 and the difference in their ages is 24 what will be the ratio of their ages after 3 years so in this question they have given the ratio of the present ages of Kiran and his mother as 3 is to 11 okay they have also given the difference in their ages as 24 so what will be the difference in the ratios of their ages difference in the ratios of their ages will be 11 minus 3 that is 8 okay now we can represent this 8 as this 24 so if we can represent 8 as this 24 then how can we represent this 3 this value will give you the present age of Kiran okay so present age of Kiran will be equal to 24 into 3 divided by this 8 okay so that will be equal to 9 so in the similar way we can also find the present age of his mother so present age of his mother will be 24 into 11 divided by 8 okay that will be equal to 33 now these are the ages of Kiran and his mother at present but we need to find out the ratios of their ages after 3 years if at present Kiran's age is 9 after 3 years his age would be 9 plus 3 that is 12 if at present mother's age is 33 after 3 years her age would be 36 okay so what will be the ratio that will be 1 is to 3 so the ratio of Kiran's and his mother's age after 3 years will be 1 is to 3 the next question is ratio of the present ages of Jyoti and Amit is 8 is to 9 after 4 years Jyoti's age would be 28 years what was Amit's age 8 years ago so in this question they have given the ratio of the present ages of Jyoti and Amit as 8 is to 9 okay so these are the ratio of the present ages then they are telling that after 4 years Jyoti's age would be 28 years okay if after 4 years Jyoti's age is 28 years what would be her present age her present age would be equal to 28 minus 4 okay so that will be equal to 24 so this 8 can be represented as this 24 so if 8 can be written as 24 what will be the value of 9 this value will give you the Amit's present age okay so Amit's present age would be equal to 24 into 9 divided by 
8 that will be equal to 27 so this is the present age of Amit but they are asking us to find out Amit's age 8 years ago if at present his age is 27 what would be his age 8 years ago it would have been 27 minus 8 that will be equal to 19 years so Amit's age 8 years ago was 19 years so this is the answer the next question is when the present age of mother is added to the present age of the daughter the sum is 40 what will be their total ages after 5 years so in this question they have given the sum of the present ages of mother and daughter as 40 okay so they are asking us to find out their total ages after 5 years okay after 5 years mother's age would be m plus 5 and daughter's age after 5 years will be d plus 5 okay so what will be their summation that will be equal to m plus d plus 5 into 2 okay so m plus d is 40 so this total ages of the mother and daughter after 5 years will be equal to 40 plus 10 that will be equal to 50 years so this is the answer the next question is sum of the ages of 5 children born at the interval of 3 years each is 50 years find out the age of youngest child so in this question they are telling that there are 5 children and they are born at the interval of 3 years each okay so let us assume that the youngest child's age is x okay then the next child's age would be x plus 3 next child's age would be x plus 6 the next ones would be x plus 9 and the last one's age will be x plus 12 okay because each of them are born at an interval of 3 years then they are telling that the sum of their ages is 50 so what will be the sum of this ages that will be 5x plus 30 and this is given as 50 years okay so from this 5x will be equal to 50 minus 30 that is 20 and x value will be equal to 4 years so x is the age of the youngest child hence the age of youngest child will be 4 years the next question is product of the ages of anil and sunil is 240 if twice the age of sunil is more than anil's age by 4 years what is sunil's age so in this question they have given the product of the ages of anil and sunil as 240 then they are telling that twice the age of Sunil is more than Anil's age by 4. Okay. We need to find out Sunil's age. Now from the first equation we can write A is equal to 240 by S. So this we can substitute in the second equation. Okay. Then we will get 2S is equal to 240 by S plus 4. Now let us divide this equation with 2 on both sides. Then we will get S is equal to 120 by S plus 2. Okay. So this we can write it as S square is equal to 120 plus 2S. Or we can write it as S square minus 2S minus 120 is equal to 0. Now on solving this quadratic equation we will get the age of Sunil or you can do this by option verification method this method will help you to reduce the time in the examination okay so let us first substitute the first option in this equation then we will get 12 square that is 144 minus 2 into 12 minus 120 so that will be equal to 144 minus 144 that is equal to 0 hence the first option will be the answer. Here finishes this part of problems on ages. I will be back with some other important problems in the next part. If you felt this video helpful, like it, share it and subscribe it. Also press the bell button so that you get the notification when I am uploading new videos. Thank you for watching the video. Bye.